There are people right now who are feeling so guilty. There are people who are walking with shame because they know that they did something that is so bad. There are people who slept with other people's husbands. There's someone right now who is actually somewhere on a holiday, on a vacation with someone's wife and they are feeling so guilty and they're trying to ask God, please, will you ever forgive me for what I'm doing? And they have gotten to a point, now they are saying, whatever happens to me, let it happen. I am ready for whatever judgment God has over my life. Listen, what God says, get back to your senses and come back to me. Remember the prodigal son? He had wasted his father's inheritance. But the Bible says in Luke 15 that he got into his senses and came back to the father. This is the most interesting part. When he decided to make a decision to go back to God, doesn't matter what you've done. There is no crime, there's no mistake that is unforgivable. Whatever you do and you decide that, God, I want to come back, this is what happens. The prodigal son started walking back to his father. And the next thing that happened is that the father ran towards him. The father was so excited. The Bible says, if you draw closer to me, I will draw closer to you. The Bible says in Luke 15 verse 20, So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long distance away, his father saw him coming filled with love and compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring on his fingers and sandals for his feet. What an amazing father he is. The moment that the son came back and started apologizing, the father didn't even respond. He just started embracing him, kissing him, treating him like a son. That is how God deals with us. It doesn't matter what you did. He's saying, come to me. My daughter, come to me. I know you've messed up. Come back to me. My son, I'm waiting for you. And look at what happened. When he came, he didn't start questioning him. Why did you do this? He wasn't even judging him. Why did you sleep with that person? No, he didn't do that. And even when his older brother came to complain, he defended his own son. That's how God is going to defend you. It doesn't matter what people will say about you, God will be on your side. God will defend you. He will walk with you. He wants everyone to know that my son is back home. The Bible says that he was dead, now he's alive. Let's celebrate. God wants to celebrate you. And he's telling you, come back. Come back, my dear daughter. It doesn't matter what you've done with that old man. Come back, my dear daughter. I need you back. In fact, it says in James 4 verse 7, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. God is waiting for you. Come back to him. Don't go into the year 2024 the same way you are in 2023. God wants you closer to him in 2024. He wants to walk with you in 2024. He wants to protect you. He wants to provide for you. He wants to give you peace of mind. And you've been depressed for so long. He wants to provide favor in your life. He wants to open those doors that have been locked in your life for so long. Those generational curses, that patterns that have been in your life. He wants to bring an end to them. And he wants to give you power and authority to live a kingdom lifestyle each and every day.